Okay, so I just addressed Murphy's question. He is asking for the searchable drop down list in different list, and I just create one. Let's say if I want to search, let me see, like AR, and then I can search these three guys right from the other worksheet. The worksheet is here. So let's say if I want to search those with CA, so just go back to the drop down menu. And let's say if I want to search those with CA, then I can search Candy, Cameron, Cami, and Catherine. Let me show you how to do it. I will be using this one, this table. I just name it Control F3. This table is named Student Table. So I just assume that you create this table, student table, and remember to add the student ID. Like this is a unique reference on the leftmost column of your table. Because I'm going to use student ID to get these information. So let's say I just replicate this one, student ID, and then I will have whether it contains a search text that we are going to to search let's say ca or ar whatever then we get then we get the search id i just call it search id and the search result and we are going to create a table just create this table by control shift t oh sorry control t then we are going to have headers. I'm going to call this, excuse me, control F3. And then I'll call this, just give it a name, just call it sort list 2. Okay, just give it a name instead of the sort list that I created before. Okay, so one thing, remember to start off with the row that should be the same as your source data. I start with row 7 for my student information and I start off at the row 7 for the student number. It's just convention. You can always shift that. I just find it easier. Easier to manage. Okay, so I just put rows I8 and then I8. I think it should be, yeah, it's fine. Rows I8, you lock the first one by pressing F4, and then you press I8 again, and you don't lock this one. Remember not to lock the one on the right hand side of the colon, otherwise, it won't append because this student number is very critical. So let's see if we can, it contains the text that we are searching. So go back to the drop down menu. Okay, so let's say if I create another box, I just call this search value 2. So just control 1 and then I create a folder for this one. Let's just put CA and then I'll name this cell by. Okay, sorry, I can't use the control shift F3, but I can go here and name G2 with, I just called it search value 2. So this cell is going to be the text we are going to search. So let's go back to our sort list and go back to the contain column. Let's see what we contain is equals search and what we are looking for we are looking for I just press F3 and then I select search value 2 comma and then within a text within which text so we are going back to source data and we are going to highlight the whole column of name, the student table. Okay, so we are here. So we are searching search to student table and a name. Okay, and then close the bracket. Enter. Let me go back. So we have in the contain column, we have this, right? Because One. we are looking for those student ID that has the string that we are searching. 
Okay, so I mean, want to make it better. So I just wrap around this one with a, its number. So if it's a number, then it returns true. And we want to return, if it is false, then it returns zero. If it is true, then it returns one. We wrap, wrap around this one with an if function. If this thing is true, then I return one. Otherwise, I'll enter return zero. Enter. So I should have this one, right? And then we further go to the search ID. We only count this one. Let's say this one is one, two, three, four. Okay, the search ID. Otherwise, we return zero. So what we can do equals if this one equals one. Then I'll enter. We are going to add up these column. So we put J because as under column J8, the first cell I put F4 to lock it, and then colon, and then I put J8 again with the locking. So I count the sum if this one is one, otherwise, comma, I'll enter, it returns zero. So we are going to get one, two, three. In this one, I'm going to say. So let's say we are looking for the search student ID. So it's just using the index function. We are going to look up for the student ID, the whole column. So we remove the at sign, the student ID, comma, all enter, and we are using the match method, and we are matching the rows. And we are matching from the L8. So you see the cell is already wrapping this one. We just put a F4 to lock it and then colon L8 so that it will row, when you row down the column L, it will start counting one to three. We are matching this number with the search ID, with the whole column of search ID so that it will get the one two three then it's a set match put zero and then i'll end and then close the bracket so that we will get number six is the first one seven eight nine is the third one after we get the student id we need the student id to look for the name the student name or whatever so it just it doesn't put, matter what you name, so I just call search name. And how we get that is we are going to index. So we are going to look for just look for the student name and then I go back here, comma, I'll enter match. And then we go back to sort list. We are going to use the search ID. The whole column of search ID, student ID, comma, to match with the source data, the student ID in the student table. Okay. And then we put zero and close bracket and I'll enter close the entire index. So we get back to the sort list and we have the name. I don't like the NA, so what I'm going to do is I just copy that and then I put if error bracket. If there's an error of the cell, just like this one, then I'll put just blank it. So I put double quote and then I close the bracket so that I will see Candy, Cameron, Cami, and Catherine because they all the have CA. And what I'm going to do is I'll just put an offset formula and I highlight the first one, the first cell M8. Instead of clicking that, I'll just put M8. So you see, it's already highlighted. And remember to press F for the locket. Then I just skip the rows, skip the column. When I go to height, I just count if everything. 
the whole cell so I need to remove the sign the whole search name column comma the criteria is I just put this one so as I explained in the video before it just means when there is more than one character then I'll just count that otherwise just skip it okay then I close this one close this one when I scroll you will see this actually you do need that many you, you just highlight the form uh, this, you just highlight the cell and go back to the formula copy that Control c copy that just click here and then you press Control f3 to create a new formula so i just called it drop down to okay so i just oh excuse me so you click new and then i just called it drop down to and then the refers to you just control v and then you scroll here so it's just like putting the formula to the refers to and then click ok so you press close so we get back to the drop down menu which is in another list to search value 2 then i press i just left click it and then i press alt d l and then for the allow, I just press list. And for the source, I press F3. And then I can search drop down two. And before you move on, go to uh, error alert and then untick the show error. Then I can search this one. Let's say I want to search AR. Those names with AR, then I press this, then I can see Darren because AR, Daryl, it has AR, and Depate, it also has AR. So that's basically, hopefully, it helps. Thank you. Bye bye.